to look here if you want to look right. Oh, and then I have, oh, yeah. uh, I have round two. There we go. It's help. It's helpful if I turn the screen right. around, isn't it? And so the only thing I don't like about this laptop is the way it angles, and then mm -hmm. it, you know it doesn't have a good. So here we are. We okay. So good. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, yes, it did snow today. I cannot believe it. It just really sucks in my world. But everybody gets to come here and cook, so that's really really cool. And so today we are with Jason Lovell. Um, many of my friends, we have a lot of the same friends. Oh yeah. So today we're gonna we're gonna cook in the kitchen with my book coach Doug. Um, as some of you know, that I wrote a book about being in business with my daughter. We're gonna do some promotional things. We're going to do some giveaways. Um, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. I didn't have to prep for the cooking today. Uh, my book coach did everything, so that's a pleasure. And Jason's going to talk a little bit about some of your life-changing experiences. Um, for those of you that don't know, his son has a tumor, a cancerous tumor, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, you've been experiencing some of, uh, you're, you're always so positive. I don't know how you do it. I don't know what it's like. I, I can't even begin to imagine. But for right now, we're going to talk about a market update. So I'm going to pass this over to you, So because you're much taller than Mark me. <laughs> so. <laughs> so market update, as in like what's, rates? Yeah, rate. What's going on? What's happening? Well, rates are trending. Uh, Look right there. Rates are trending a little on the upward swing um, since about January. Uh, actually, I uh, listened to an update this morning from Barry Habib, who's a big um, market guy, and he uh, actually thinks that. Rates will continue to rise um, with a lot of the inflation uh, and things like that. So um, now, I mean, rates are still low. I mean, you can still get, you know, high fours, low fives, I mean, depending on terms and things like that. So, I mean, rates statistically are still low, still a great deal. Um, and, uh, you know, but we will we will see the market go up. I mean, on the other hand, you know, my 401k is doing really good, you know. Is it? Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> my, good. My rate of return on that is doing really good. So I guess I have to, uh, you know, take the good with the bad. But, um you know, could use a little bit more houses in the market, uh, you know, to, to sell, but I think that's your expertise, not mine. Uh, but, you know, rates are still going to be good no matter what. So yeah. we're good with that. Absolutely. So, all right. So, and did you say what the rates were going at? Uh, they're, like I said, they're about high, you know, high fours, mid fives, just depending okay. on quite a few factors. All right. Hey, hello, Miss Becker. It is still a great time to buy. Hi, Don. Nice to see you. I am going to pass this over. And he's gonna help me out here, and I'm gonna fuss around. There you go. You can hold it. So now Will has us. He's used to me. So here's like all of our books. Um, that say hello to everybody. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> so um, welcome into Michelle's kitchen. Yes, that's right. So <laughs> tell a little bit about what you do and um, uh, how people can get a hold of you too. We'll do it again, but try again this right now. Yeah. So. Uh, so I, uh, I help uh, business owners, uh, tell stories is ultimately, and that uh, comes in a couple different ways. Uh, one of them that we've been helping Michelle on is to, uh, to tell it in the form of a book. And so there's, you know, business owners, I think hopefully we're, we're telling good stories out there, and that's the important thing is to be able to share the stories. And in my book, which is kind of the the middle one in there called the uh, Storytelling to Success, I talk about what I call the, the uh, yep, that one right there. I talk about what I call the uh, client hero story, and it's really about uh, kind of how the, we as business owners ultimately by default are, are heroes of a story. I mean, a story, again, for those out there, it's character setting, that character gets into trouble or trouble comes in their lives, right? And they kind of go down into, into some rough, rough times. Um, you know, similar to what you're experiencing with your family right now, right? With, uh, it's just difficult, that, that part of life. I mean, mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's not to the level that uh, Jason's experiencing, but there are, there are struggles that come into our lives and we have to kind of, we find out what we're about and especially when it's somebody we care about deeply and so we, we dive into those those moments and we we journey and we, we go into those moments and we help carry those people out and it's kind of that that moment of down here when things aren't going well when people are raising their hand I need help I need help I'm drowning or whatever the situation and the heroes go into those situations and that's what? 
I think it's kind of nice to know also that you're not alone. I think before, Jason and I were talking before you got here, mm -hmm. and he was like, um, you know, before it was a much bigger deal to write a book. It was really difficult to get published, you know. We didn't have Amazon, we didn't have all right, those right. things. It was, you know, and now, you know, I would never write a book if it had to be this thick. I, that would have never, you know, and, and big words, you know, mm -hmm. I, I would have been out, you know. So that wouldn't happen for me, but to tell a story, <clears throat> and and for someone to be able to read it and say, oh, I'm going through the same things. Oh, mm -hmm. it's nice to know I'm not alone. Right. I don't think a lot of us knew that we weren't alone until today where everybody could right. write a book if they wanted to. And what was hard for me, and those of you that are realtors and those of you that are KW realtors, um, one of the things that Doug helped me do was um, figure out my why. I know a lot of you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Figure out my why and then help me put it in order. So if I could put it like in simple terms, I knew I wanted to write this book for a couple of years before I met you. So it's been like brewing in my brain, but it's like this in my brain. You know, I don't know where I wanted to go. I don't know what I wanted to start. So we met the first time for two and a half hours, I think it was. Yeah. And you helped me put it in order. And you and I had chapters. By the time I left him, now some of them changed throughout the mm -hmm. process. Right. Yeah. Right. But I had direction. I had like I knew what was going to come first. I knew the chapters. I knew. I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. You know, so yeah. that was like really, really helpful. Yeah. You know, and then it no longer was like doing this in my brain. Other things were, but not that. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> what are we making right. today? Well, this uh, we are making uh, something that uh, my friends call pretty potatoes, uh, oh. but it's got more than potatoes in it. It's basically a bunch of root vegetables. Uh, so any type of root vegetable that you like. Um, I you love all kind of, kinds of root vegetables. I know, vegetables. so we have a whole bunch of different things here. We've got different carrots, um, and uh, we've See, got- See, the, those are pretty carrots. Pretty they're carrots, all yeah, different all different colors. colors. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, golden beets, we've got uh, some other beets that I still have left from my garden um, that I brought along. We've got parsnips, uh, red potatoes, yellow potatoes, rutabaga. Um, and, then, and then look at this. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. so my, my, my little story, my daughter and I, we've loved making caramel popcorn for quite a while. So we're actually, I'm bringing this as a taste test. So uh, hopefully uh, we're thinking about starting a little company. Uh, really? Yeah, so um, that's my Because ideas. Rose's recipe is no longer being used, <laughs> correct? <laughs> so, oh, well, I met, I actually met him right before he died. My fast story mm -hmm. was when we moved here, I'm Lutheran. So I taught all the confirmation classes and all the Sunday school classes, and, and in the Lutheran Church, you don't get con you don't get confirmed until you're in seventh and eighth grade. Okay. You go through confirmation classes during that time, and each year, your seventh and eighth uh, grade, you have to put thirty hours worth of, con of of community service in, so a total of sixty hours. So we would volunteer as a group over at the senior home off of um, I think it's like East Paris and and. Um, Brenton, somewhere right right over there, there's a, 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 a senior development. And in the Alzheimer's section was the guy who once owned Roses. Oh, really? So it was kind of, it was funny, because we would go in, and he has Alzheimer's, remember, so he doesn't remember talking mm -hmm. to us. So every week, we would go in there after church on Sunday, and we would worship with them in their church, and then we would go to the Alzheimer's ward, and we would get the caramel porn story every weekend. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And we got to know it so well, we could ask probing questions, you know, it was really fun. Right. But it was it was actually a really, really good secret. But so, yeah, I don't think anybody has any good stuff anymore, although I'm not going to be able to try it, you know that, right? Yeah. It's going to have dairy in it. Yeah, it's it's got a little you bit of dairy in it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't have If my wife is watching, she's going, yeah, you know, he doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'll try it for her. Right. <laughs> so what do you need us to do? Well, we're just going to, uh, we need a, uh, a container or something to put it in, and okay. then we're going to uh, Like just, a big bowl? Um, to cook? Or to cook it, yeah. So, so oh, we to have cook a, it in. Yeah, okay. we're we'll just... Uh, All right. So, how about this? Perfect. All right. So we're just going to... start chopping? Yep, we're just going to chop, um, you know, some of the, depending upon what you're going to be chopping, like carrots. Uh, the beets, uh, rutabaga, you want to make sure they're kind of smaller pieces because they take a little bit longer. This is to a cook. rutabaga? Yep. Okay, I didn't know what that is. Those of you that I talk to me a lot on Facebook, we had a conversation about this. 
All right. So there's a pasty, pasties from the UP, mm -hmm. and they use this in it with brown beef and everything. I had never heard of this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's Yeah, we that's um, have done, like, uh, instead of potatoes, it's a good uh, alternative to right. potatoes. It's a little bit healthier. Um, nice. And so, like, potato pancakes or something like that, if, you know, like, you, sh you can uh, shred it up and... <sighs> You can uh, use that uh, instead of actual potatoes just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So now the beef and stuff. Do you want those peeled? Um, you no? can. You can. I. I'm. I'm a big skins guy. I like skins too. You know, I just. But make it's your dish. I make I sure. Yeah. I, I'm I trying was... very hard not to take it all. <laughs> I have no stay idea. Stay away from the kids. Stay away from it, right? <laughs> So, no, yeah, we're just gonna, you know, we'll clean them up a little bit and then we can just, we can uh, slice them up. This is a better mess than the one you have. Okay. All right. And so I got both of you guys a cutting board. Awesome. And then I'll get one. So. All right, I'm just gonna, you guys can talk. I'm just gonna wash them. Okay, bit. we all need to wash our hands first. Sounds good to me. So, and if, if uh, Dave DeBrian's watching, we are washing our hands, Dave. He was very upset. He thought we didn't wash our hands last week. Ah, okay. And so, and normally we do it while people are watching to make a big deal about cleansing this, but we didn't do it last week. And so he gave us a shout out and said, I didn't see you wash your hands. So he was, so I just want you to know, we're washing our hands. At least if my sure kids will watch this at some point, they'll go, see, Dad washes his hands, too. Okay, yeah. so all kids, you wash right. your hands as many hands. times as you can. All right, there you go. That might be too hot for you. I don't know. I like hot water. So, but, um, so we were having an interesting conversation, an interesting conversation on Facebook. We, um, it's the Greater Regional Alliance of Realtors. Look at there. Yay! Yeah. Oh, All right. So, yeah, so we were having a conversation about low inventory. So it's it's not just low inventory as you would think it's low in inventory. There's not enough housing. And so people are saying, you know, we were hoping that people would just build more homes and then we have more housing. But the cost of building is really, really up there too, this right? true. This is true. I know. So it makes it very, very difficult because I fear personally if you buy, if you build a home that is like affordable, you know, low to moderate income type housing, unless it's a, a specialty from ICCF or something mm -hmm. um, where they get grants to build these homes, they can build them at a better quality. I am worried that the homes won't be either nice. Yeah, that the that the homes won't be as the quality that we're looking. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really worried about that. And so, but if you build a higher end home and the people will get ready to, I don't know what size you want those. No, oh, yeah, potato, that's, that's, a good, right? that's a good size okay. for potatoes. It's right. just like some of the, like the rutabaga and, and beets and things, you want to have a little bit smaller because they're going to, well, they take a little bit longer to cook. And so you want everything kind of arriving at completion all at the same time. Okay. So. Okay. So this is also a good dish for my vegan friends. So everything has to be in my house. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be, but it has to be an option, vegan and gluten-free. So um, I would say dairy and gluten-free and then occasionally. What no, I'm going to do is because we got um, we've got a special like, on your book today. So I want to make sure people if people are going to buy. If you guys will go a couple things. If you want to win a copy, a paperback copy of the book of Michelle's book, um, if you can share this out um if you share out this uh video we're going to put your name in three times okay um if they comment anywhere so we're going to put them in twice okay and if they like it we'll put them in once so you got a chance to get in six times have your name put in to win copies of the book and we've got some gift cards we're going to give away we might even give some caramel popcorn away uh, now if you buy a book then what happens? Because you, you send me a receipt. Yep. If you can, if you can send a receipt, I'm going to put some of these things in while you guys are chopping. I'll go okay. into Facebook and share some of these out. So if you buy a book and you share the receipt with me, which someone's already done. Yep. We've had a couple um, people do that already. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, and you share that with me, then you will be able to go into a drawing for a bigger price. So I, 
If you're, I, I think if you're over 21, it might be a really nice bottle of wine. <laughs> and so we'll do some wine because, you know, oh, that's the other thing I didn't do here. We didn't open up wine or beer. Or oh, that. no. I know. That's really that's horrible. Why I came. That's why I came. Okay, I'm going to have you open it because I'm a bad wine I'm not a, no, I'm not a good, Jason better be a better wine opener than me. No. So. <laughs> I'm yeah. a good drinker of wine, but the... Uh, <laughs> I'm a good collector of bottles that sits in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Now, Jason there? says he doesn't drink wine. I usually don't, but I mean... You gonna try a little bit? Sure, why not? Okay, okay. Um, All right, so, Jason, tell everybody what's been happening in your neck of the woods right now with, with, uh, with loves. You got any funny stories to tell us? Is anything that's happened? Oh, I have six kids. I always have funny stories. <laughs> Something. So I was kind of meaning about the lending world, but oh, you can tell us something about your kids got too. Got it, got it. Lending so. world. Funny, funny, and lending. Oh, oh Lord. Um, did you have any closings this week? We, we did, actually. Um, How many closings did you have this week? We had, we had three. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Were they all easy to come by? Oh, no. Tell us about your hardest one. What did you have to do to overcome? The, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you, we did one, it wasn't this week, it was last week. Um, it was the most gratifying one. Oh, good. Um, we had a gentleman come in the end of February, and he was in a land contract, and he had, it had to close and fund by March 30th. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Or, or they already had, they already had the forfeiture paperwork already filled out. Right? They were ready to kick him and his family out. Really? Yeah. Um, so he had been working hard trying to get his credit up, and he did, and then all of a sudden uh, something came on his credit from four or five years ago that he had no idea about, and it dropped a score, but it was still high enough that we could, you know, within our, our minimum. So, you know, long story, I mean, he was right on top of things. I mean, obviously he was nervous, I mean, because this is livelihood, you know? He right. Had, he had less than 30 days by the time we had all the documents and everything in. Uh, to get everything uh, done, we got it. Uh, so on a refi, we had it done in um, less than two and a half weeks. Wow! From start to finish. Wow! I had to uh, call up my uh, sales manager because we have rules on when, you know, not to overwhelm our staff, right? To right. make sure that we keep our timetables and so that we don't jump in front of other people. I had to call in a re uh, an exception. Um, for that loan to be, you know, to go out before others, right? Wow. To step in. Um, and I really had to document, you know, really plead my case to it um, to make So you're telling happen. me you fought for him big I, time. I fought for him big time. And I told. And this I, is not even on a purchase, this is on no, a refi. No, I told, I told the manager, I said, you can cut me off from exceptions for the rest of the year, I don't care. I said, this is, this family's livelihood. Um, See, so, and, that's, and that's when you take a person and they're not a piece of paper. They're no. not a number. You look at the whole person, you're taking care of them. You know, Union Home Mortgage, they're lucky to have you guys. I mean, they're great, but they're great because they have you and they have Jason Jenkins and they have people in that office who actually care about the person. So Union Home Mortgage wouldn't be who they are had, had they not have you, you know. No, and I'll tell you, my, um, my assistant, well, her title is assistant. She's really, I call her my loan ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she she is amazing and she I mean she pushed this thing through um, and I give all the credit to her I mean she was absolutely amazing in getting everything done in a timely manner um, and did a fantastic job and honestly I tell people that she almost cares more than I do well that's you know? it, it takes a team yeah. just like it takes a community you know when you move into your home and your kids are there and we all hope that you know the community dives in and, yep. and it takes a community mm -hmm. um it takes a community within your office to make a loan happen it's not just one person right so it's really 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 important so um you know we're we're closing on a deal right now that um, um it's not with you guys but we're closing on a deal right now where the lender um is is we had some difficulties, so we had to postpone the closing a little bit. So the sellers of the home understood how important this house was to this family that's nearly as big as yours. Um, they 
they have their kids and a couple of their kids have kids. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a big family that's okay. going to be moving into this house. They sold their home to VBSU and had no uh, buyer or seller representation to the college. So they had to get out of their house. They had to get out now. Now they have nowhere to go. And there was a hiccup in the loan. And the um, had we had to start all over again, they would be homeless. And so the listing agent has been absolutely phenomenal. James, if you're watching, you know, cheers to you, sir. He didn't lose, he didn't go crazy. He didn't, you know, That's lose his school. He's been in the business for a really long time. So he understands these things happen. He also understands it's gonna come to a close. We're just gonna need a little bit more time. You know, we got some newer agents that don't understand that and they're just like freaking out. We're not gonna close or, you know, we need to, we need to go ahead and put it back on the market. You know, a team that works together is the lender, the buyer's agent, the listing agent, the buyer and the seller. When I go in, I say it's all of us mm -hmm. working together. Well, and this communication you know? too. As long as, you know, as long as there's yeah. constant communication through the entire process, I feel that on deals that I have a strong communication um, with, everyone. with everybody, it, they're just, they go so smooth. It's the ones that um, maybe the, not on, I wouldn't say on our end, but if there's a communication gap between, let's say, us and the listing agent, maybe the listing agent isn't going back to us or whatever the case right. is, you know, or maybe the seller is not, doesn't do a good job of communicating with that listing agent, I find that those deals are harder. They you know? are. They, um, you know, it's not like you, I'm lucky, I have Felicia. Hi, Felicia, if you're watching. Let's see, let's see. It's, Grant, let's look who's watching. We have a full house. I figured we would today because it's spring break. So a lot of you are probably hanging out somewhere warm where it's not snowing, <laughs> watching this right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> so right, to break their ankles that. on yeah. a spring break. <laughs> Michelle Phyllis is watching. Rick is watching. Kelsey, hey, she had, a, she had her first hiking club. She was one of our chefs in the kitchen not too long ago. And she had to cancel her hiking class today because of the snow. Jessica, my car cleaner, is watching. Rob, Grant, Sue. Sunits, hey. Sunits, I know from God knows how long ago. I love Sue. I know. Eric Webster is watching. He just came in from Florida the other day to, to this. And um, Lynn is oh, watching. Okay. And Lynn Free Jennings says, hi, Jason. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, <clears throat> that is my cousin Lynn. Cousin and so on. Family. Let's That's family. family. That's family. That's family watching. Yes. Very cool. Yes. So very good. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my book. I really haven't done a lot of promotion of my book online. I, I find it easier to promote people's homes than to promote myself. <laughs> and um, we need another bowl, don't we? Yeah, we're going to need. Yeah, we're going to need a much bigger one. And so. Um, Everything yeah, in I, here so right now, yep. and then yeah, so yeah, so I, you got. I, I mean, I put a uh, link in the uh, comment section. So if you go through the comment section, you can see a link and take you directly to where you can buy a, a copy. And we kind of put it on special today just because we're going to be here today and do a little promotion. It wasn't uh, me, he does all that. He goes <laughs> into Amazon, he sets the price. He, makes a sale, he makes a promotion, and he just tells me what's happening. I don't do any of it. So that's why you hired a professional. That's why. Right? Well, right? Yeah, that's exactly, exactly why you it. hire a professional. I know. Well, Go figure. Huh. Yeah. Huh. You know how that happened. Yeah. yeah. So I, um, I've always believed in coaching. I've always had a coach. I've mm -hmm. had a real estate coach. I, you know, Brian, I don't know if he has time to ever watch me online, but he was my real estate coach forever. He was with KW. and. He um, helped a lot. He is my bet and shelf. I can help you grow your team. I can help you carry out your business plan. I can help you do all this stuff, he says. But I don't know I that I can the, uh, help you have a relationship with your daughter in real estate. Couple. So that was really okay. hard. <laughs> I remember when he told uh, okay. me that. And um, you can just, yeah, you cut off basically. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, I have never cooked or, <laughs> so, or a uh, cut. Uh, a Jason's, my, so Jason's wife is like, look at my, my husband. 
I know. She be sitting back. She just well, waiting for you. It's funny because Katrina Cole from Atlanta Mortgage, Hi, yeah. a oh, yeah. very good friend of mine. I right? love um, Katrina. Yeah, I know. She, she's uh, awesome. She, uh, <laughs> um, I can talk all day about how much I love her, but she texts me. She goes, "Oh, you're cooking vegetables. Your favorite." <laughs> oh, she's she, funny. Right? She's making fun of me. I don't see her on. We should like. You we know, need to have her. her or something. So, yeah. hey, Mark. Hey, Mark just like came so on. So, um. Yeah. Like the potatoes? Yep. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I know so how to good. cut potatoes because Nikki has me doing those when we, you know, because remember the 10 pounds of potatoes that right. we do. So that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, the link is in the comment section. So if you find the link, you can go buy a copy. And we dropped the price down for uh, a Kindle version today. Do you just want to for, show the books again? Okay. Yeah, for 99 cents today. So. Uh, can they buy your book too? Uh, I didn't put that link in, but I can uh, I can put my link in there a little bit later. Well, and the, and what I was so happy about Doug being here because I've had people say you wrote a book, oh that's really cool. So people that know me go, wow, you know she wrote a book. She sat still long enough, you know she <laughs> mistypes everything that she puts online, and um, and so it's pretty impressive in its own right. But um, uh, a lot of people want to know who you are. They want to know how they can write a book. They want to know how they get it out there, but. You know, it's really cool that people are buying the books and uh, my book, and I hope that other uh, people can learn from it. It's not. It talks about my daughter and I being in real estate together and mm -hmm. how we work through a lot of issues. Um, but I don't think you have to be in real estate to enjoy the book. It's any family business, isn't that right? Oh yeah. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna learn things. I mean, I think in anything in life. I mean, we I'm gonna make them a little bit small, like no problem. Probably four a quarters of each one of those would be great. Um, anything in life I mean when we're you know whether you're in real estate whether you're in marketing mortgages you know tool and die there's always it, there's always a human touch to everything that we have right there's there's things that are going on you know it's just sure. like you're you know your family's going through some difficulties and you know and it's not right. everybody's gonna have those same type of difficulties um, you know that you're going through but we all have those those struggles that we have and so there's that human touch to every single business no matter right. what it is it the, you know the, the skill and the career and all those things are going to be different and that's i think that's for me that's why i love what i do because it really gets down to the humanness of the story and, and the vulnerability that we can we open up that you know what i i didn't do well <laughs> during this period of time and i learned from it and yeah, I went through some very dark times. I went through, I was, in, I was lost for whatever that may be. And so during that time, you know, heroes walked in into my life and they encouraged me, they helped me through that, they motivated me, inspired me. And that's that moment, that those aha moments, like, you know what? My story, everything that I'm doing is a whole lot, it's worth more. There's, there's somebody else needs to learn from it. And it's in those moments of time that that's where the success comes. Now that sometimes it might be instantaneous the success is seen but so many times I mean we look at you know we watch whether it's sports we watch all these people and we think wow they're successful but we don't know well, everything that they had to go through to get to that point it's so funny that you say that so a couple years ago I did a fundraiser at my condo that's getting ready to come on the market downtown and I did a fundraiser for uh, the mental health of Granville so it's be be um, be nice mm -hmm. be nice program and one of their guest speakers was and from from the Lions. I'm not a sports person. <laughs> like you, like I struggle with that as you're struggling with cooking. Um, was from the Lions. He and his daughter both struggle with mental health, mm. and he was very famous guy for the Lions. And I don't know his name, and I wouldn't know it if he said it. But anyway, he's very famous. I think he was a, a quarterback or okay. running back or something okay. like that. And his daughter, um, I guess, mental health runs in the family, can be hereditary. And his daughter almost committed suicide. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, both of them almost had that problem. And here, just what you said, this big sports person, he's like big to the team, he's making a lot of money, he's like, you know, awesome. And he's struggling in his life and he don't even know it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, now, when, you know, my Facebook is pretty, pretty, Sincere. I mean, you you hear about me quitting smoking and gaining weight and being on steroids. I'm pretty sincere on mine. You know, I share my my happy times with my sad my sad times on there because 
you know, one of the things they say about Facebook is it's not real, and I want to make sure that mine's real. Absolutely. Yours is very real. Right. You're very real. Yours is very real. And I know the three people that are here are very real, and you're going to get the real people on our Facebook. But that really opened up my eyes for, um, for them. I know I'm doing another fundraiser this summer for them um, out by the pool. Oh, nice. Yes, we're going to do another one. Their money, we've talked about so many things with Daniel. Their, <laughs> their money goes to um, um, the schools oh, to nice. prevent high school and middle school suicide because okay. that's up on the rise right and so when you do a fundraiser for them you can actually say i want this money to go to wherever and so the last time i think it was two years ago the last time i did it so i sent it to jenison and so um i feel like everything stays in the city of grand rapids proper very little goes outside and so and people don't realize there's help needed in granville and in jenison people don't even know that there's poverty in Granville, mm -hmm. and there's a lot. Oh, right. There is, and so we fail to reach out outside of Grand sure. Rapids, and so, and I think this year I'm going to go to Wyoming, Okay. because I know Wyoming's been struggling a lot, oh, so yeah. with the fundraiser this summer, right. we'll go to Wyoming. That's cool. I know, that's really, really cool. So one of the things, when I were doing this, I wanted to know if Jason had a GoFundMe for his son, who has the tumor, cancerous tumor, and um, he said no, because you said that Michigan State is like paying for all of it. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the state of Michigan has a, a fund, um, you know, kind of like, you know, when you, when you apply for health benefits like Medicare, Medicaid, things like that, uh -huh. they're all income based. Um, certain medical um, conditions and things like that, yeah, they also right. have um, funds for as well. And the, the type of tumor that he has, uh, and his age, um, they do. So they basically have a fund for that that's covering, you know, all of it, which, I mean, regardless of whether it was, it would have changed my mind on, on the, the health or anything like that, but I thought it was, I was very blessed. Um, my husband was amazed. He's like, he goes, you mean to tell me our government just did something really, really good? <laughs> I, I mean, and I didn't even know it. I mean, we were going to talk about yeah. all the insurance stuff, and they're like, oh, you know that Michigan has a fund for this, and I'm like, I had, no idea. You know, no, no. So I mean, it, it's so your tax dollars at good work. Yes. Um, so that's really awesome. So, okay, now let's go back to the food real quick here. Okay. So what are you what are you doing now? Um. Yeah. So we're just um. You know, we're just chopping it off. Um. So again, we've we've put some in olive oil. some olive oil. Um. Just salt some and pepper. Salt and pepper. Uh. Thyme. Uh. Fresh thyme. Well, this. This fresh, oh, that rose, yeah, fresh, What's fresh? fresh rosemary fresh and rosemary. fresh basil. So uh, okay. So uh, yeah. So we had, uh, beets. We had uh, normal kind of our red beets. We had our uh, golden beets, uh, carrots, uh, uh, multi-colored carrots, rutabaga, uh, and turnips, and then two different red potatoes, and then a yellow potato. And then we so kind of mix it all together, and then it's just now you can I. Um, Sometimes, and I think I've got, I prepped some ahead of time, so we'll have that, but I sometimes we'll put some feta cheese on them too, so if that's something that you want to have. You, you know, didn't bring it because I can't eat cheese. Right. So, <laughs> so if, um, if you want something to have some flavor, you know, it's, it's basically any type of root uh, vegetable that's out there. I mean, I, you could put parsnips in here. Horseradish might be, you know, if you want a little bit of spice mm -hmm. added to, the, to get a little flavor, a little kick to what you're doing, I think some horseradish would be, you know, really good to put in there too. So this is a good Sunday prep meal too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can prep this on the weekend, and then you can make it one night when you're coming home because we realtors are going to be working 12 hours here soon, if not already. Right. And, uh, and lenders too, by the lenders way. Lenders too. too. Some lenders, not right. all lenders. Right. Right. Jason lender, yes. <laughs> And so, but I mean, it's no lie. We will get up early in the morning. I will still work out because that's important to me. And then um, we probably won't come home until eight or nine o'clock after our last showing. And then we will still have paperwork to do. I was gonna say, and you're still writing offers. We're still writing offers, offers doing paperwork, getting yep. our listings out. Yep. We will work 12 to 16 hour days until July. So knowing, and Sundays, I call it a Sunday prep just because that's what everybody calls it. Um, it will probably be a Tuesday prep because our weekend is really, really busy. Sure. Monday, we're following up with you guys. Right. Doing yeah. all that stuff. Tuesday is the first day that we can go, 
Right. You know? Right. And so Tuesday prep for the rest of the week. Or you might be able to do it on a Friday afternoon. It seems to get quiet in our business Friday afternoon right. if the weather's nice. Right, exactly. So because it's like and then Saturday, Sunday's busy again. Right. You know, so maybe Friday afternoon prep. But I like that this could be pre prepped is my point. Oh yeah. So Yeah, you can do I mean it's, there's a lot of different things and everybody just when I, when I take it, uh, if I go someplace, mm -hmm. um, they, you have to bring, you know, they're asking me to bring this along. So, I don't know, it's, I guess. Now, did you taste your wine? I did. I like you it. like it? I do. So, the wine is from um, our last week's show. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, why am I, like, I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting your name right now. But uh, the landscaping company came, and they brought this wine, and I have... I have one of their glasses. They have. They gave me a really nice glass, RNA landscaping, and I drink out of this glass all the time. So they brought me a bottle of wine and one of their wine glasses. Nice. You can logo it, and everybody has one of these. But this glass is like big. It fits in sure. the really nice. I, it's now my daily glass. I was just saying, it's got a nice. Doesn't it? Yeah, it feels nice good. That's why it's everything. in the dishwasher because I'm not using it for wine. I'm using it for every day. <laughs> you know. Now I don't drink wine every day, so. Um, they say it's good for you, though. That's what I hear. I know. It's very, very good for you. Now, if you guys, you know, we have a good crowd watching here. So if you... You, guys, you need to go out and buy a book. So uh, let us know if you've gone in. If you have taken, you know, go in the comment section so you can find it. Um, or you can just... Um, Andy. There, Andy was the one that gave me the wine glass. There yeah, it is. Yeah, your fitness Kelsey. coach. Two. <laughs> she is proud. Yes. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right, Kelsey. I thought maybe Kelsey was in class. So my my fitness coach also has a purpose in life other than helping people with their fitness is that she believes there's a correlation with fitness and mental health and a lot of people that are going through mm -hmm. a mental health they kind of disconnect from their body sure. and when you work out you get reconnected oh, to your yeah. body yeah. so she's doing a lot of stuff with that so yeah it's pretty cool yeah one yeah. of my uh, it's interesting one of my uh, clients that I'm working with uh, that has she's written a book and she's gone through three different bouts um, of cancer you know, but her, her whole time during that her it was just her, her mental attitude was right. that you know what I'm this is you know it's kind of like when you breathe we always kind of we want it to be utopia all the time where we will always yeah. want to have just yeah. when and there's always a contraction she always says that there's a contraction of the breath before you can actually sure. take the breath which gives you life. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a part of part of life that we have, and so. But she her, she's big about she's an amazing musician, and so music is always a part of during the, the surgeries, chemotherapy, and everything. And so yeah, just to what you're saying is all about the you know part of us as, as life and. I would say there's something that because I had I had my yearly physical was. I don't know, less than a month ago. Um, and of course, my doctor always says, you know, you gotta lose weight, you gotta quit this, quit that. I'm like, all right. You know, but he said, uh, you know, because I've had battled with depression and things like that too, you know, and he said, you need to get out, you need to walk. You know, you got a track by your house, just go walk for 15, 20 minutes. He goes, don't try to run, you'll kill yourself. And you know, because right. I mean, but he's like, you know, I'm don't go and try to join it. Don't do what she does. <laughs> right? I'll, I'll kill myself. Right. But he said, just get out there. He says, as you start to feel, you know, get a little bit fitter and start getting used to doing right. that. He goes, you're going to feel better about yourself, yep. which is going to give you more energy because I, have, you know, I fall asleep real fast. Sure. And, um, and so I believe that. I mean, I definitely believe that there's there's a lot to that. I'm going to put one of these on there. Oh, okay. So what did we do? We put. We put them in the oven at 300, you said. Yeah, um, you know, it all depends upon, I usually do it about 300, 325. Uh, okay. It should be about 45 minutes um, time for the, the cook. Um, and then uh, we're just going to dish so it up. So we have a, fish, a finished one here. We have finished two here. I finished one. This is, you probably want to grab the other one. The other one that you can have, so. Oh. Hopefully they're. Uh, oh, look. So one has feta cheese on it. Yeah, one has feta. And one doesn't. You have onions in this one. Do I see that? Onions? Is it yep. onions? Or is it yep. I love onions. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. So the, you see, this one has a feta cheese, and this one has onions. I tell you, my house, we're a condiment kind of people. 
I might even put a little Worcestershire sauce in it. Yeah. I would. I probably would. Just, but it is, I bet it's good just the way it is. It is. And I, just I love it. Yeah, it actually smells, smells really pretty good. It smells good. It smells really, really I good. I can smell those onions. So, those big deal I think it, house. yeah, I think it's great. So, anyway, um, let's go around the table one more time. And if you want to grab your wine glass. Absolutely. And, um, Jason, tell everybody what you do, how they can get a hold of you, and um, well, all that good stuff. I know where you want to be today, so. Wherever you want to be. But, um, He's following well, you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, I work at Union Home Mortgage. Uh, we have offices and uh, we have an office in Holland and Grand Rapids. Um, you can find me. Actually, you can find me on my uh, website. Uh, at, uh, my nickname is J Love. Oh yeah, so, I love that. Yes, it's even on my that. license plate. Yes. So it's uh, and that's your Facebook business page yep, too, right? Yeah, JLoveHomeLoans.com, or you can find me on our Facebook page, uh, JLoveHomeLoanTeam, um, and uh, we have a fantastic team. I mean, we uh, relationships are the core of our business, and we won't ever sacrifice anything. You know. To, to, we won't ever, you know, we won't ever do anything that, that sacrifices that. And, and how many states can you sell in? Um, I am licensed in just the one in Michigan. Um, uh, my uh, manager Jason Jenkins, who's the other one, uh, he is licensed in uh, Michigan and Tennessee. I think he's working on Florida. Our our company, uh, I think we're in thirty eight states now. Yeah, you're yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So if I can't do it, I have a, a very good team. You know of other loan partners that, that we work with that I would trust that we can you know all over the Eastern right. Seaboard you know um, just call you yeah That's all they just need call to me and get I can wherever you are yeah. just call yeah. him you'll yeah. yeah. do it I know someone's good right and the team that can do it and and your cell number they can call or text yep 616-862-3807 you can do the same thing I your story thing. yes My story. <laughs> first of all you need to go buy the book if you haven't already Get a, get a copy of this book right here. Um, and it's, again, we've got, we can get it uh, in Kindle right now. It's 99 cents today. Um, and if you get a copy and you let us know, so uh, you can go and, what easiest way to do it is to, and I put this in the comment section, is, is that if you just email that receipt. So when you go to Amazon and you pick up a copy, they're gonna send you a receipt to your, to your email. Um, just forward that email to me and my daughter at comcast.net and we will put you into a drawing for an actual uh, paperback so you're going to buy a book for 99 cents and you're going to get a chance to get an actual i haven't even seen one in print ten, right that's kind of cool look at that so yeah. look at so, the look, 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 back. Look, look at you look at there look at you <laughs> Makes me happy. So, anyway, so um, that's get, cool. get a copy of get a copy of that. There, there'll be some other uh, there'll be some other giveaways. We're gonna do. Um, we'll probably um, get together later. Yeah, we'll get together. Have, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll let everybody do their thing. Give it about a week or so. Yep. And let everybody we'll, do their thing, and then we'll, we'll do a drawing together. We'll get a drawing together, and we'll yeah. put together some fun fun gifts. We got some gift cards, uh, some wine, maybe some daddy daughter corn. Uh, Go. Some fun stuff that we're gonna do. So, anyways, uh, yeah, you need to, to read a, my book because you're gonna go daddy daughter business. Aren't you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. The there. <laughs> and the reason why I started this show is because I have so many great people in my life. I am blessed to be surrounded by so many great people in my life, and such great conversations come from the kitchen. I think today was a perfect example. How many different topics did we hit? All. Very, very, very important. All very true to our heart. And in real estate, the biggest um, factor in buying a home is the kitchen, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. they talk in the yeah. kitchen. It's the number one uh, reason why people buy buy a home is because of the kitchen. It's where we all come together with our loved ones is in the kitchen. This is a Beacon's kitchen. Um, if we uh, decide to take the show outside of my home, we will go to Beacon's and do it. And um, I love my Beacon's Kitchen, and I love my friends, and I want to thank you all for being here. If you would like to list your home or sell your home, feel free to call or text me, Michelle Gordon, 616-443-0596. Thanks so much for tuning in. See ya. Thank you.